Book launches are usually a bunch of people in a room, a glass of wine, and somebody says, if you buy my book, I'll sign the copy for you. Beagle 2 has always been somewhat uh, unusual, shall we say. So when we decided to have a book launch, we meant we'll have a book launch. And we took uh, four books and loaded them into a 12 foot long rocket. And, uh, we thought that this was rather rather different, shall we say, than your average book launch, and launched it 2,000 feet up into the air. Quite surprising, a lady with a dog was walking around the corner. Not a big girl, unfortunately. There's the gantry going up now. Maybe in the picture of the, the author of the book on the side of the rocket. There's lots of people would like to launch him into space. There he is. And there's the group shot. And here we go. Looking down on the scene below. Unfortunately, the flight was over all too quickly. And that's the rocket motor coming back down on its parachute. Parachuted it back down to Earth when it landed in a field. We ran along and collected the books and then took them out and signed them. Here we are unpacking the nose cone. Four books coming out, handed to me to sign. Well, the, the the book was actually published uh, by the British Interplanetary Society. Part of the reason was it's a, it's a historical story that needs to be recorded, but it's probably the best argument you'll get for why Britain needs to have its own space agency and run its own projects. And we hope that it will inspire some young people to do science and technology as part of their careers. So uh, it has more purpose than just uh, being an autobiography. And when we decided to launch it from a rocket, who better to get than Richard Os Osborne, who calls himself the Rocket Man, and James McFarlane to, uh, to build our 12-foot rocket for the purposes of sending a few books sky high. And if you want to buy the book, you do so by getting onto the British Interplanetary Society's website and uh, purchasing it from them. Thank you.